Alright, so this will be a continuation of my topology playlist, and in this video I'll be talking about the Euclidean metric and the discrete metric, both of which I touched on in my introduction video. So basically, the Euclidean metric, um, we go from Rn to R. Essentially, we, have, we, we, go, we, have, we start with the n-dimensional real space, and we plug in uh, numbers for our distance function, and the output is just a real number. And this makes sense because the distance is really just a single number. Now, what are some properties of the Euclidean metric? Well, for every x and y in Rn, the distance between x and y is zero if and only if x is equal to y. And that makes sense, of course. It's kind of intuitive because if you the distance between any point in itself is just equal to zero because you haven't really moved anywhere. And that's an important axiom to, to, uh, to have. And in general, when we talk about metrics and you know, topological spaces, the axioms that define them are very important. We, we can't really necessarily take, take them for granted. Well, here, for the Euclidean metric, the axioms are relatively um, intuitive, but it's not always the case. So just keep that in mind for, uh, uh, for subsequent videos. So another important uh, intuitive property is that the distance between x and y is exactly the same as the distance between y and x. And of course, that makes sense. Um, you know, the distance between 2 and 5 is the same as 5 and 2. And again, intu an intuitive property, but we should, not, we should learn not to take those kind of properties for granted. And also, the, another uh, property of the Euclidean metric is uh, something called a triangle inequality, where you have the distance between x and y plus the distance between y and z is greater than or equal to the distance between x and z. And that is, that is, a pro that is an important property, and I will be talking, I'll be proving this and talking a little bit more about it in, in, a, in a different video. Um, but it's, it's interesting, it's, it's, it's interesting um, uh, proof and just kind of a concept that I'll touch on later. Now, what about the discrete metric? It's kind of the same idea. You have a function that goes from Rn to R, and except it's it's not really quite all of R. It's really just zero or one because the your your um your the out the codomain is always zero or one. If you treat the distance uh, metric as a function, now so for the for for every x and y for every x and y inside of Rn, the distance between x and y is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to y. So you'll see that the first axiom for the discrete metric that I've listed here exactly the same as for the Euclidean metric. If, it's the, if a point, the distance between a point itself is zero for both the Euclidean and the discrete metric. So that is that's the similarity between the two metrics. Now, here's what's different about them. For every x and y in Rn, the distance between x and y is equal to one if and only if x is not equal to y. So essentially, um, this means that no matter how quote unquote far away you go from a point, the distance will always be equal to one. So let's suppose for a minute, for the sake of argument, that, um, that we're in the Euclidean space. So I have a marker cap here and a marker here. And remember, for Euclidean uh, distance, I can, if I stretch my arm out, the distance is going to increase. And if I bring the cap closer to the marker, it, the distance is less. For the discrete metric, this is not the case. If I go here, the distance is 1. And if I go here, the distance is 1. And I kind of you know, uh, did this demonstration in my previous video as well. That is a very important, that's essentially one of the uh, defining properties of the discrete metric. And of course, another similar property is uh, the distance between x and y is equal to the distance between y and x. So that's yet another similarity between the discrete metric and the Euclidean metric. And um, essentially, in, in general, in my playlist, in this playlist, I'll be talking about other metrics and how they relate to each other. And it's interesting to, to examine properties of, of them and how they relate to each other. And then later on, when we get into more advanced stuff, um, you'll see this, uh, having a solid understanding of this will make a lot of the other concepts uh, very easy to, to grasp, or much easier to grasp than if you did understand it. So this is a good stopping point, so I will uh, see you guys in the next video.